So Queen Elizabeth dead at 96. She's dead. Oh. This is live as we record. So any thoughts on her, the Meghan Markle, Princess Diana? I don't really know much about all that. No, I mean, she had a great life, I'm sure. Lovely, right? So So rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. No. What do you think, baby? Well, I mean, I'm sad. She lived a good life, what, what have you. But I guess my, you know, I hate Prince Charles. Because he was like, so I loved, I guess my whole thing is like, I love Princess Diana. Yeah, so totally. by default, yeah. I just look at them. But um, I don't know, you know, RIP, but I don't like Prince Charles. And my ch- my opinion about Meghan Markle has altered in the last couple of years. Any thoughts on her or no thoughts or? I don't, I haven't been following kind of what's been going on with her. I've just, from what I've read and seen, she's kind is she like an idiot? Kind of? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess that thing is like, oh, I'm like, oh, she's cool. She's American, whatever. She's from California. And she now thinks I'm... she's like a lot smarter than, you like, she, she poses as she's like a lot smarter than what she is. She's unlikable. Yeah. Why do you think she's unlikable, though? Because it's like, okay, now you're in the public sphere. Try stop, like, stop talking about yourself. Yeah. Well, what and does she you... do? Does she go on, like, interviews? Does she have a podcast she does? Podcast. You know, at first, the whole the Oprah interview, I was obsessed with the Oprah interview. And then I was like, after that, I'm like, I'm just, you know, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm like, be in a movie, do something. I understand. Is she, she still was... acting? Uh, Every day. <laughs> oh, her life. <laughs> okay, R.I.P. R.I.P. Queen the Elizabeth. Queen. The Queen. Okay, so... What is your thoughts on, I mean, obviously, since I'm a pop culture hoe, the Kardashians are unfortunately always at play. Was wondering, yeah, what do you think about, I know you shared that Bethany Frankel had put out, like, a, a video of, like, how do you want to, like, put that in a nutshell? Of, like, stop fucking following them? Or- I do think, I think Bethany Frankel, and let me just preface this, I don't love Bethany Frankel. I think Bethany Frankel is also someone that's super fucking annoying. And she's also pandering to an audience on TikTok by like using her money to spend it on all these things to, to gain an audience. So like, and when she talks about business stuff, you cringe. I want to, I want to scream because it's like, bitch, you made a drink that was already made and just mass produced it. You didn't invent the fucking wheel, but she acts like she invented the fucking wheel. I just wish rich people sometimes would sit back and shut the fuck up. And she's one of them. But with what she said about, how the Kardashians, she's still a better role model than the Kardashians. And I'll give her that because she did work for it. She hasn't really altering her face. And what she was saying was like, what is the point? What kind of role model are these people being by altering everything? And I mean, Chloe looks crazy. Isn't crazy. It really I guess it's sad. It's almost like to me, the Chloe specifically, I mean, Kim a little bit too, but not as bad where it's like, they're going into like what I perceive as like, and again, this is like, I loved them, especially Chloe, where it's like, you're, you're entering the Michael Jackson sphere of like, yes. you don't look human or I don't know what the, like right you're is one, right. no job. You're like one nose job away from it. Caving it. Like if you don't stop now, now it's gonna, yeah, and I think my big problem with them is that they pretend as if it's beauty products. They go around saying that they don't have anything done. And I, I, and like Bethany said, I, just say that you're doing that. Stop lying about it. Like, the second I get something done, I will be telling everybody. Like, I want my, <laughs> no, I will. I think how long do you think this family will be in the sphere of like top tier? Can I tell you what I really think is going to happen? I don't want to put it into existence, but I really think this is going to happen. I think they're going to level out and they're going to not make money this way. And they're going to hop into politics if they already haven't hopped into politics. And I think some of them, someone's going to run for something because if Donald Trump became president, who knows who could become president? So like, I think the next thing is going to be, I don't know. I have, that's what my feeling is upon it. Cause how, how long can you ride a wave in an ever changing world like I work for a beauty company and every day I see just everyone has makeup now. How can that be like so successful if everyone has it? You know what I'm saying? And if everyone's putting a skincare line out, everyone is. I mean, Reese Witherspoon has one out. These other people have, I just don't, like what's the next step for them? Because nothing is like the same anymore. You know, everything changes so quickly. 
I guess I just feel like with them that they'll be around a lot longer than anyone thinks just because there's so many of them. And then like- There's so many of them and mom, the mom is really smart, I think. I mean, she knows how to produce and like sell her family. Everybody! (laughs) We're alive! Do you, are you are you a fan of Kanye whatsoever? Oh, were you? I used to be. I used to think he was really talented and his music was great. And it's just like he's he's someone that like he's he's someone that should not be as much in the public eye as he is. Like an artist, I think they have to be edited really well. Mm-hmm. Like even when I see too much of Lady Gaga, sometimes it's like cringy to me. It's like they think of themselves so highly. So they can never be relatable. Not like the people that we want to see, like in reality and stuff like that. I was watching this old like family feud, obviously with all the Kardashians and the Kardashians were out. And then all of a sudden, like, obviously I had no reaction. And then Kanye came out and I was like, oh my God. And then I'm like, see, that's the difference where it's like, I can stare at them and just see them on TV and be like, whatever. But even though he's kind of disturbed, disturbed me to the utmost degree in recent years, I can still see him. And I'm like, oh. Oh my God, Kanye. But that just might be me, but. Well, don't you think you're like that though too? Because he's not on the show. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. No. That he's not on the show a lot. So you're kind of like surprised when you see him? No, I just, my internalization is that like, he's a, like, he's a, like, he's a star. And they're just, do you know what I mean? Like I mean, he has, he has some, ta- yeah. He like knows how, yeah. No, no, I get what you're saying. Like he, yes, yes, I agree. But. Anyways, I think he's crazier than all of them. True. I think we but do. do you feel like they played into him that stuff or that was already set in stone before they got together? Okay, I think Kanye West is a homosexual. Okay. I've always thought he was a homosexual. Allegedly. Uh, whatever I got to say, this is just my opinion. I think, and I've said this before, I may have even said it on the last episode. Any man that will come up and ruin a little girl's award i don't think any straight man would do that i think that's a very closeted gay feminine energy bitchy energy um and i and that's when i first thought to myself i'm like he's a homosexual but then also a lot of trans women in hollywood have come out making jokes about him sleeping with them and stuff like that so it's not just me like there is so what i was going to answer the question with is i think it was the setup i don't know what's going on now but i don't think it was like the marriage that we thought it was i don't think they like fell in love i think they probably sat down and were like let's try and do this this will be great for both of our brands like i think meetings like that happen for sure but don't you think they were fucking yeah i'm sure I'm sure she'll fuck no she'll fuck anybody. Well Pete like Pete looks like a good time, you know. So like obviously I think Pete was like something fun for her, but I don't know. I think she'll I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. Okay. Poor Pete Davidson. I Why does he, he how does he get these women? They say that like he literally has a kickstand. Okay, but I've known many guys with kickstands. Like, I don't know, that didn't keep me. Yeah, but I mean but like were they funny? Funny looking, I think. <laughs> Guy, Jeremy, I won't say your last name, but Jeremy, he's married now, bless. Every time I'd see him out, I was like obsessed with him. And it was only because he had, I think it, when we measured it, it was like 11 inches, like flaccid girl. And I would go out with my friends and we'd be like at a bar and I would go, Jeremy, Jeremy, show everybody. And he'd like pull his pants down and like everyone would be like, and I'm like, but then, like, he could only get the head in. So, like, what was the point of it? Was like, he I'm white? Yeah. He's Italian. If I said his last name, you'd know. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, but his now husband God. is, like, this little Asian guy. I'm like, he's probably, like, shitting all over the streets everywhere, oh, girl. I'm How? Sure. Mm-mm. I'm talking about this the other day. Like, no shit. I wonder, like, with, like, penises and, like, the size, if it literally is, like, a genetic thing. Like, it's, like, if your dad... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your dad, your uncle, yeah. or grandpa had, <laughs> like, a big one. Are you nine nine times more likely to have a big one? Or, like, are brothers, like, if they're small, is that because that's a genetic thing? Is that, like, a certain breast milk? <laughs> like <laughs> Maybe. No, I think. Seriously, though, dead ass. 
Don't you think it has to be some kind of genetic thing, or is that just luck? Or okay, I just gotta say the first. <laughs> Shut up! Does your dog agree? <laughs> the first penis I ever saw when I was a kid was my uncle's, and it was the biggest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. To the point where I was like small enough to like be at his waist, and we were like at this in this gym. Um, it was like a swimming pool locker room. And I guess I was just like this. My dad was like, okay, let's go. Like you could tell I was just like staring at it. But I can tell you that that's not the case with me. So I don't think it's genetics. It's not from your uncle is what I'm trying to get at. That is fascinating. I always like, I remember like in middle school, I and mean, obviously I've always asked really weird questions, but I really was fascinated. I asked dudes, I'm like, how do y'all run? It's not big all the time, though. Like I'm just saying, like having something like dangling, like how literally, how do you do track or? Just yeah, but you guys have tits. You guys have tits when you got to run. I mean, you got two like things bumping up and down if you don't have them secure. I mean, you can secure it with underwear. Like there's underwear. I know, but I guess I think leg, like with the legs and the like. Yeah, I just that well, was, listen. Like, I don't know. I've never had an issue with having a big penis, so I don't have the answers for this one. We'd have to ask someone who does. Yeah. <laughs> So can I get my uncle on? You think he'll talk about it? <laughs> yeah, connect us, please. <laughs> okay. On a different tip, no pun intended. Mm. How many times do you, how many times do you think like the average human like is supposed to fall in love? Like not oh. lust, but like genuine. I don't know the rate I'm going once. Cause I think I've only been in love once. So I don't know. I, I even said the other day to myself, I'm like, I'm gonna have to really like put forth effort if I want to fall in love. Like, because I'm so jaded by men and kind of what we've seen in the past handful of years, at least from you. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can't separate the one from the other. So, but I love men. I love penis. I love how a man looks, you know? Like, I, it's so attractive to me. But then, like, when they start talking, you're like, where have all the good men gone, girl? I know. You don't I don't think we even had them. Not yet. No, definitely not. You know, my issue is like, just even in like recent, like the last couple of years, like I start to like a get feelings for like a dude and then like I'll go and like look on his social media and then I'll end up like seeing where he's commenting. I don't know the social media thing. I mean, not that this is love by any means, but it's like, it just makes me so crazy. And I just like, well, I'm I think crazy. though you can see things on social media. Like I yesterday... Because Erica Jane looked at my story last night, I went to her page because I don't follow her or anything. So I went to her page and went to her first post. And one of my celebrity friends liked the, the post and it's about her being like exonerated. And I was like, what? I almost, shush! I almost messaged her. And then I thought, you don't want to start shit. But I was pissed. But I was like pissed because I'm like, do all these, I think all these Hollywood people just like cover each other's asses too. No, it sucks. Yeah. I and mean, I guess it goes into the politics things where it's like you like someone and then you find out like what they right. report. And then it's they so easy to go find if you go see and like, this is the thing. Sometimes I'm not even looking for it. Like that's how one of me and my close friends stopped talking. They were liking stuff on this heinous page that like hated gay people. And I'm like, are you crazy? So we had to talk about it. Oh, and that's, there was that's next their level. response. Well, it would say it's that one black chick that's so crazy, that's so like conspiracy theory, really pretty. Oh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens, girl. Candace Owens. Um, so it was that. What was oh, I forgot what I was saying, though? Like basically your friend was liking whatever she was saying. Right. And so I said I said something, and they said to me. I like to see all options. And I was like, I don't think that's a proper answer. I I'm sorry, but yeah, like, at least say something like I fucking accidentally liked it or some shit. Or just say, you know what? I like some of their stuff. I don't agree with X, Y, and Z. Say something like that. But like to me to say, so then I did a deep dive in that person's stuff. Mm -hmm. Bitch, the stuff she was following. It was like all these crazy conspiracy theories, but then, and what didn't make any sense was she was saying she was following them because she likes to see both sides, but that was the only side she was watching. There wasn't like the normal side of things. 
Like when people sit there and say that MAGA or like Trump people, it's like normal. It's not fucking normal, people. This shit is not normal. Like you following Donald Trump is not normal. You're all involved in a cult. I don't know. It's crazy to me. I'm going off tangents. No, it so is. And I guess I was like so mad about the Trump stuff, like while he was president. And for some reason, I'm still pissed off about it. But like. He's still in the news every fucking day, like every well, that's hour. that's what pisses me off, though, too. But then it's also, like, media. Like, y'all are obviously obsessed with him. Like, They need to stop. Up. I'm done. I'm done hearing about him. Unless he's going to jail. I'm really or- scared Don't that, say like, it. he could he could be he could be the president again. If they don't, if I really. I mean, I'm going to start wonder. doing heroin if that's the case. I think there should be an age limit. They should not be able to be president at a certain age. If you're going into the area where statistically dementia or like Alzheimer's can be a thing, you should not be able to be president. End of story. Like end of story. And Biden, Bernie, love you, babe, but you're too old. And Trump, they're all too fucking old. Hillary, too old, mama. We need someone that goes in there and speaks for us. We need someone in our age range, a little bit older. We, I am done. Girl, you know, I'm the, the only person that like I could see becoming president and it wouldn't happen this round, but it could happen the next round is like your dude Beto. No, that's the only person. I don't know anything about Beto, but I'm saying that's the only person that if I could bet, like I could see just because he's I, in- I would love AOC. I know people hate her too. I don't I guess hate her. Ever- I love her. What do you think about that whole thing of like back in the day, my dad was like, you don't talk about money, religion, or politics. Do you feel like I now- I think that's something Republicans say for people to not talk about it. I think it, I think it's like, I think- Someone's knocking? God, I got nervous. It sounded like my garage door open, girl. I was going to get great, girl. Hope. Oh my God, or was it me? No, I think that's something that you don't, like even in the housewives, like the ultimate girls trip, when they were like, you don't talk about this, you don't have- No, bitch, talk about it. I want you to talk about this stuff. You, I want to know- if I'm supporting this show, I want to know who you're voting for. I want to know what your background is. I want to know all of it. And I'm allowed to because you're making way more money than me. You don't you don't think so? Well, no, for television, absolutely. But what about people that are not in the celebrity sphere? Do you think everyone should talk about it? Just because I guess now I just feel like you're just it's just all going to end in fighting. I don't. So, like, in personal life, I don't, like... If, if it comes up that someone hints at talking shit about Trump or something, then I'll definitely talk to them about it. But like, if it's no, but like, cause I love that. It's like, yes, mm-hmm. lean in baby. Let's, let, let's talk about how crazy these people are. Mm-hmm. But if it's the other side, no, I don't, because what is the point? Like, girl, I had someone come in yesterday and I can just, when a man wants attention, you can just tell they're not, they're not like, they're obvious about it. So this guy's over there and he's making sure he's letting everyone know how uncomfortable he is in Sephora. Okay, like all the makeup and this and that. And then I hear him go, oh, I wonder why there isn't a Trump cologne. Oh, my God. (laughs) I know. I know. So, of course, I get stuck ringing him out. And is he what age? If you had to guess, how old do you think he was? Probably my dad's age, like, what, 65? Fat, bald, you know, and then his his wife or girlfriend looks like she smokes fucking Marlboro Reds two packs a day. She's got a fucking mall bangs with a bump it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Flared out hair. Absolutely. Um, and so then my coworker, who is this really cute young girl with braces, um, he starts to like talk to her about her braces and her funky hair and like and like being gross with her. And then what was the other thing you said? He goes, like oh, almost being perverted. He- yes. When, and it happens all the time in Texas. Men in Texas, they're so fucking perverted out here. It's so, they're so fucking gross. You think it's the heat or? I think it's the way they're raised. And I think it's taking away abortion for women. I think it's so many things out here. Um, but he goes, there should be a, is there a hillbilly discount? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. So what do y'all say? Just y'all just I ignore it. I just keep doing what I'm doing. The the screen is big enough to hide like half of my face. So I just like stay behind it. I don't know what else to do. So like in response, I don't talk about it because you're right. The the other side is so crazy with guns and shit that you don't want to like argue with these people. I mean, again, if you had talked to me 
while Trump was in office, I was ready to fight. But I guess now I've entered this like aura where it's like because well, we're semi safe. I was like, I'm exhausted, but it's like I'm exhausted. I'm done. I, mean, I, I know that's not fair. Like I know that's like people are like you have to keep fighting, whatever. No, I'm just saying as far as verbal arguments, it's like I'm exhausted. Yeah, but like they keep saying you have to vote, you have to do this, you have to do that. It, nothing is getting better. It's getting worse. Like it looks like I mean all the Supreme Court stuff. Like it just looks worse and worse and worse. So like I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done caring. I'm done. Like and like I said in the beginning of the interview. Like how are you? Like I'm fine. Like I'm not like excited about anything. I'm not super depressed about anything. I like look forward to my my housewives girl. Even though I talk so much shit about them, I don't know what I would do without them. Same. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? You, want- I, you might be like, what the fuck? But do you, do you know Pluto? It's like this free streaming service. Yeah. What is? Oh, it is free. It's free. And it has like, it's like almost like a virtual television where it's like directory. Mm-hmm. Guess what I have been watching the past week? Rescue 911 with William Shatner. Oh, I forgot about that. I am just, I'm, I've entered that phase where I'm like, I'm just going to go back to like the early 90s. So I have a funny story about William Shatner. I was on this show called Holy Moly. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's like this weird show where they play golf outside it's kind of like extreme i don't know it's like an extreme whatever Mm -hmm. so he was one of the hosts that night and i was being taken by a pa and i saw him and i'm like i'm such a star trek person i am like star trek is what i grew up with i'm more of a picard but like whatever it's fucking captain kirk right huge huge heart attack belly baby huge heart i mean he looked like he was about to have a heart attack but whatever so I see him and the PA must have seen in my eyes and he goes, you are not allowed to talk to the talent. And I thought, no, I thought, uh, I thought, fuck you. So as we're walking you. by, I go, Mr. Shatner, I just want to tell you like, and I can't remember exactly what I said. My, my voice started trembling, but I was like, Aww. I was raised on Star Trek, A Voyage Home, Star Trek Four is my favorite movie of all time, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he like brought me in. He's like, oh, well, you're welcome. And he like hugged, side hugged me, best Aww. day ever. And then as we're walking away, the PA was just like, I'm like, bitch, I'm getting paid like $45 for all this. Like, go fuck yourself. I can say hi to William Shatter. Oh, that's nice to hear that he was sweet. He was nice, yes. So, Well, I was I, licking his ass. I, I feel know, like but you always lick their ass. I know, but sometimes I feel like you. I've still heard stories of like someone totally. giving praise and they're still a fucking dick. Totally. But um, last question. So since Rescue 911, have you ever called 911? I don't think so. I think as a kid I did. Because I called and said they were my parents were abusing me and they <laughs> and they called and they called back and just talked to my mom and didn't come. And I was like, she beat me with a broom. Sorry mom. You know what happened. But <laughs> and then my mom let me go to the movies that night. I remember she let me go see Jurassic Park girl. Ew. I So I got what I wanted. I love that story. Did you Have grow you up in called Texas? 911? Have you had to call 911? The second time, I remember I called a 911 on, like, I was in high school. I called them on, on a neighbor. This neighbor was, like, literally screaming bloody murder at the bus driver who had stopped to let the kids off in the middle of the street. I guess he thought, like, the like you know when you put out the stop sign, you're supposed to stop? I guess the bus driver made some kind of remark, like, acting like this other guy wasn't going to stop. And so he just went insane. And I called the police and I remember being like, yeah, I have this, like, this guy's like yelling bloody murder. There's kids outside. And they're like, yeah, we've, we've already gotten a call. And it was oh, yeah. like, you know what? I have called 911 before I've called it on the, on the neighbors, but like, I, I now fighting? call the, yes, girl. Oh my God. We have some crazy neighbors over here. So we did, but we, I call the non-emergency line now. Like, so I don't call 911. No, ours is just like the police department. Like I just call the police department. I call them weekly on our neighbors that play the fucking music over here. It's like as loud every weekend I call. I swear to God. What the fuck are they doing? Girl, I don't know. They're having some sort of like quinceanera or something, girl, because it's always like dun 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 dun. And listen, I'm fine. If you want to listen to that, whatever. It's your style of music, your your genre, whatever. I'm not saying about that. But the whole fucking neighborhood doesn't need to hear it at 9 30 10 o'clock at night you have me confused with someone else i'm watching the housewives <laughs> hall monitor that's it babe well girl did i do what i feel like i was all over the place i'm sorry but that's how it's supposed to be dude okay no okay, rules girl. 
Okay. I don't got a pro- I don't got a producer yet that tells me to wrap it up. My so. hair went turned into a limp dick, girl. It I'm was kind of like, like you're kind of giving like, like the Elvis flip. Oh, okay, girl. I like that. You know, full disclosure, I could give like a Elvis. shit about I could give a shit about Elvis too, girl. Ooh, I love Sorry. It. Nope. Never a fan. Elvis and the Queen, girl. I know. The Maybe- only Elvis I liked, if you ever watched True Blood, did you ever see that on HBO? So the books. Elvis was in them. One of the characters oh my goodness. changed him as he was dying on the toilet, like eating the, the chicken or whatever. So he's like a zombie bodyguard because he's like close to death and he was like already dying. So he's kind of like a stupid vampire. Right. Loved him. He was always the main guy's like, like little bodyguard. I loved him. Oh, so, yeah. wow. I love that fact. Also, last, last, last question. And then I'm going to cut it what is your thoughts on the harry spit like is it just a joke or that movie in general or well, i think the movie's not going to be good there i mean i think that this is the best thing they could have done to like get people to go to the movies isn't it warner brothers mm-hmm. that's what i, I have think. a theory i have a theory about this so because warner brothers are scrapping movies mm-hmm. like batgirl for 80 million dollars that they already put in they're scrapping movies warner brothers is close to broke is what I'm assuming. And they really needed this movie to work for people to go to it. So I think if I had to guess, they are like the reason why this is getting so wrapped up and like all the story. Cause I think the movie shit, I think Florence probably does a great job. Like she does in every movie that she's in. I fucking love her. If you have not seen Midsommar, you've lost your mind. It is one of the best horror flicks in my opinion of all time. And Black Widow, baby. She was fucking lovely in Black Widow. But I think, even though I hate Shia LaBeouf, I think he would have been a way better probably with her in that movie. than Harry Styles, I love him, but... Yeah. No. It's it's a weird... I'll go see weird... it, though. No, so will I. But I'll only go see it because of all this weirdness. All this, like, shit that I've been I think about. Olivia Wilde is garbage. That's Do you it. think that, like... Do you think she, I don't, yeah, I don't know what to think about her. Just that knowing that she just openly cheated on her fiance with him, right? Isn't that the story? Yeah. And I also think anyone who claims they're like this huge feminist and wears feminist shirts all the time is full of shit. Like, I I don't know. I just see certain things about her and her eyebrows, mama, her eyebrows. They look like little spermies from like nineties. She like, I I don't know. I don't trust her. She's beautiful though. I, but why weren't they sitting together? What was that all about? They're not together think, now? No, I I think that it was just a mechanism so that like no one would pick up on anything. I think they like really like, same, 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 same. Don't look at me, don't do anything, blah, blah, blah. blah I mean, blah, can blah. we talk about the real news though? How Chris Pine and his head of hair? Like, he's got hair on his head. Like when he had it, that little thing and it's like tucked in the back, I'm like, fuck, bitch, where did you get all that hair from? He's got a good head of hair. Or do you think he just got like hair transplants or like there's no way that that looks like I don't know, girl. Know. Listen, I haven't been attracted to him since Star Trek 1 because he's just kind of gone downhill for me. But I don't know. I'd sit on his face the way he's looking right now. <laughs> oh, my God. I've okay, heard well, weird things about him, though, on set. I have. FYI. But just that like he's rude or like what? Weird. Like eccentric. But a lot I, of them are. I can see him like not having his like he doesn't want his food touching other parts of the food on the plate. Yeah, I'm like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. But not on Thanksgiving though, right? No, girl, I don't. I mean, I rarely eat more than like a couple things, but if my link cuisine, something, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, tell everyone where they can find you on social. Girl, same place. Same place, same bat time. Hall monitor of the universe, TikTok, Instagram. I am getting a I'm getting a lot of shit on Facebook right now. I don't know what's going on, but like I looked at one of my minute news and I'm like 24,000 views on Facebook. Okay, baby. That's, that's it. All right, girl, smooches. We'll have to do another one before the year ends, okay? Yes, girl. Rest in peace, Di- uh, pr- not Princess. Yes, Princess Diana too. But Queen Elizabeth. RIP the Queen. Rest in power. The Queen. Okay, thank you so much. Hope you had fun. Bye.